don't forget to share this with your friends, with your girlfriend, with your sister, anyone you think that would need this hairstyle, even your grandma. Just send this video, okay? Welcome back all to my channel. This is Hilda here again. It's good to have you back again. And here's the wig that I'll be sharing with you guys today. This is a pixel coily hair. I want to show you guys how I'm going to treat this hair to give it a natural look so that anytime I wear this hair, it's not going to be looking wiggy, but looking excellent so stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe down below if you're new to this channel you are very welcome it's a pleasure to have you here and if you've been following me for a long time thank you for staying and supporting this channel so please guys stay tuned and we're gonna get into this tutorial right now Like I told you all, all that this hair looks more like an anti kind of hair wig, but after working on it, I know it's going to look really, 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 really nice. So it looks like I have an SS hair or SS lace here, and this is making it a little bit uncomfortable for the wig to pass through my ear. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim a little bit of it. This is how it's going to be on my head. So I'll go ahead and take my bed head spray glue. This is a wonder spray gel and uh, you don't want to miss this because it's actually really nice. I will leave the wig and slightly spray the gel on this side of my head. And then I'll take my hair dryer and I put it on cold setting. While I'm doing so, I will make sure I hold the wig down to my scalp so that it will stick together while it is drying. Spray some amount of it. Take some hairs off. I'm doing this because I want to be able to hold down the lace in the front. This is only going to help me lay the wigs so that when I glue it, I will only need to use the hair dryer to dry it up. So I went off camera and went ahead to dry this lace and around all the part I wanted to glue. And actually this lace is stuck on my head. It's not moving anywhere. Like I told you, this bed head glue is absolutely amazing. It is stable. Like the, the glue is so strong that it keeps the hair stable in a place. Even if you decide not to use the combs in the wig, you can just go ahead and glue it down. And I promise you, like for real, this glue is going to stick on your head for about two to three days. So you don't have nothing to worry about. That is if you want to carry it for longer days. But if you intend to remove it every night, I would recommend you use a softer glue. And I might say um, got to be glue would be a good option. But if you want to use it for more days, this glue would actually go longer depending on how you use it and protect it when you take a shower. As you can see, I'm preparing the hair to start setting it. So I'm just pouring out some water on it because this will allow the coils to come out properly. Then the next thing that I'll be doing is also applying some leave-in conditioner. And this leave-in conditioner is two in one. It also acts as a detangler. In this case, this hair is not tangling. I'm just trying to make you wet to make the coils pop as well i'm going to be adding some definition cream to it which is the basic secret for coily hair and yes finally slicking it down with a hair cream Styling has always been the fun part for me and um, it is really where you can show your skills and enjoy your hair by styling it just the way you think it suits you, it suits your face and also your style. I always enjoy styling my hair because it's a fun part for me. And girl, am I gonna slay this frontal, like I'm gonna really slay them down so it wouldn't look 
so wiggy or it wouldn't even look like a wig at all it will look like my hair and you know the baby hair actually plays an important role when you're styling your hair because it helps you cover those shady parts those places that makes you look like a wig the baby hair would actually make it seamless and this is what i'm doing right now Now I'm going to take an electric iron comb to create an assimilation of a side part. Actually this wig is a 13 by 1 wig and it doesn't have a side part. So I'm just going to create it with this hot comb to make the sides lay flat and open up a bit just to create that side line. And ta-da! I'm giving you guys a back view to see how this wig looks. The coils are alive. And the wig is so beautiful. I'm happy that I bought this wig. The coils are popping. Life is amazing, simple, nothing too hard to do here. It's like a go to hairstyle. And like the wig is not even falling off, like it's so st stuck on my head. It's the start of the season when you're wearing jackets, you don't have anything on your neck disturbing you like anything that would not prevent you from wearing your scarf your jacket something you can just throw over and it's so easy and this style is the style you want to do so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up and if you really enjoy this tutorial please subscribe down below and i'll be responding to all your questions this is why i'm here and also don't forget to share this with your friends girlfriend with your sister anyone you think that would need this hairstyle even your grandma just send this video okay also follow me on my social as well facebook instagram pinterest all of them i'm right there i'm also going to be posting some of the pictures of this tutorial that i just did and i hope you guys have a great time bye bye